Hey guys, welcome back to our mochi making journey. This is like part seven or something crazy. <laughs> so I was a little reluctant to make this video because I kind of felt like I had failed and I was super excited and ready to just like bust out with like a perfect mochi recipe. Sadly, it just, we basically ran out of rice <laughs> and I've gotten to the point where I'm not really sure um, what else to do. And secondly, I've also held on to this machine for kind of a while, so I wanted to return it. Um, but we've also come to a conclusion regarding this Tiger Mochi Maker machine. But first, let me catch you up to what had happened. So in the beginning, and you can watch that video here, we just uh, tested the basic recipe that comes with the machine. There was like a little manual and then there was like guidelines on how to make the mochi. You know, we made the smallest batch possible, which is five cups of rice. <laughs> and pretty straightforward, really easy, super simple to use the machine. Like you don't have to do a lot of work and it doesn't get that messy um, yourself compared to the stand mixer at least. But we found that the mochi texture is like super chewy. Like that's a good thing, yes. That's something we were looking for, but it was like, dense chewy so like when you taste the mochi by itself without like assembling it or anything it's just this really chewy taffy gluey <laughs> like tasteless thing of course it's tasteless because it's just the rice but it just didn't have a great mouth feel you know since the goal for us is not just any mochi but like to make daifuku mochi um, which is a sweet one and we want some softness to it it was just like a complete fail from that point of view you know and not to mention that like when you're working with it so after you pound the mochi and you basically like start to piece out the dough the dough um, the mochi dough would like harden within like an hour as you were working with it so you know you would have to like microwave it to re-steam it and stuff and to be able to actually assemble the rest of the um the mochi and then of course the whole thing about the five cups is like that's a lot of mochi dough for any family and you know every other video every other person will mention yeah you can go freeze it which you totally can depending on what kind of mochi you're going to use with that frozen dough so you cannot really like thaw it out and then make dai fuku mochi again because it just is not going to give you the right texture so you could you know potentially bake it toast it or you can make the little um, mochi balls for your soup um, and i think actually that this machine is great for those savory types of mochi. But that is ultimately not our goal, right? Our goal is the sweet, soft, yet chewy daifuku mochi. And um, we had pretty good success with the stand mixer, so we were just trying to figure out what it was with this machine that we could use to adapt or um, whatever and see if this machine could also do something similar. So we were able to shrink down the recipe down to about two cups and that's kind of as low as we would go quantity wise because at a certain point there won't be enough rice that the, the impeller the pounder wouldn't really work and really wouldn't do anything to your rice so about two cups of rice is a good sweet spot for making like a small you know decent sized batch of mochi and still have it run properly through the machine you will have to kind of like hold it down a little bit because sometimes the rice will kind of pop up in the beginning because there's not enough weight which is probably why they you know kind of suggest five cups to start but something that we really realized um, with a stand mixer mochi is that an important step is to make sure that when your rice is cooked it is cooked all the way through almost like cooked to mush so not like it's cooked all the way too much but rather that when you <laughs> Uh, press the rice grain in your uh, fingers that it should mush from the pressure of your fingers. If you follow the recipe that the manual gives you and you just try to scale down to two cups of rice, uh, the water ratio is not accurate. So you cannot use that scale. So we had to kind of like tweak that and go back and forth. And finally, we used a lot more water than the ratio suggested. And that way we can get the rice fully cooked and soft. So we ended up using two and a half cups of water to our two cups of rice um, to steam it all the way through so that it can mush between the fingers. And two and a half cups is actually like the maximum water you can kind of fit into the machine, which is what the original recipe uh, assigned to 10 cups of rice. So really, really different amount of water or water to rice ratio. Finally, we also tested adding sugar, which is our handy dandy softening and shelf life extender ingredient. <laughs> but I think we kind of 
haven't gotten like the perfect ratio of the sugar yet, but I'll explain that a little bit later. We based our starting point of sugar um, from our stand mixer recipe. By the way, if you haven't watched that mo movie, <laughs> that video, <laughs> it's not a movie. <laughs> Uh, watch that video then please check it out over there it's a good alternative if you don't want to invest in this machine or you don't have this machine yet but you do have a kitchen aid or really strong powerful stand mixer but yes so adding the sugar did help it softened it a little bit and then it also of course then the mochi doesn't harden within an hour it actually lasted about two days and stayed soft enough to eat through the second day i think that's where we've left off on our recipe and we will show you what we did so that you guys can have kind of a starting point for your own particular recipe when using this at tiger mochi maker machine so i don't think i would call it the final recipe because i'm not 100 percent happy with it but i think it's a really good starting point and you know for all the headache that we kind of went through to figure this out and you know it's not a finished product it's not perfect but this channel is all about sharing the journey and encouraging each other to really try and just make small improvements. So if this video can just save someone else some time and headache and some rice, because we wasted a lot of rice, then the video has done its job and I'm happy about that. And that will mean something to me. So let's go into the kitchen and we'll show you how we did it. And then we'll talk about it after it. Okay, let's go. Start by washing your rice until the water runs clear. Then soak the rice for six to 12 hours. We soaked it for 12. Then drain your rice for at least 30 minutes and prep your station and your fillings. Then pour your 410 grams of water directly into the machine, mount the inner container and the impeller, then pour in your drained rice and then level it out gently without compressing the rice. Place the lid on then start to steam. Ours took about 35 minutes, but you want your finished rice to be able to smush between your fingers. Then you can begin to pound. Add your 67 grams of sugar and a little bit of hot water. It can get a little messy in the beginning when things start flying around, but at four minutes it should come together and at 15 minutes this is the texture we got. Now we can begin piecing out our mochi. Start your hands, remove the impeller, and flatten out the mochi. Then start on one end and gather up the mochi into one hand making a round or a, a ball and then twist to detach. Then you can begin assembling your mochi. Flatten around and then place the filling in the center. Then gather opposite ends of the mochi together and pinch to seal. Make your way all the way around the mochi until the whole thing is sealed. Then you can flip it over, gently reshape and then dust with starch. And that's it. There you have it. So that is our tiger mochi maker machine recipe for daifuku mochi or sweet mochi. Um, it is not the final recipe, but I think it's a really good um, place to kind of stop for us at least until we <laughs> get another chance to work a machine or try even another machine. Um, but hopefully it will be a good starting point for you guys to figure out what's the perfect texture to you. So our kind of final word or something, I guess, decision is that we do personally prefer the stand mixer mochi compared to this machine. And I think it's just because this machine creates such a dense um, mochi that it's not really ideal for the sweeter mochi. But there are several things that we can still do and try, which hopefully will help you guys, is that we could add more sugar, one, or two, during the pounding process, um, we would add more hot water and just pound longer and see if that helps. Um, for our recipe, we already pounded for 15 minutes, which is five minutes more than the original recipe uh, tells you to do. They actually tell you not to pound it for more than 10 minutes, which is kind of interesting. Even though several folks have also posted that they've pounded for a lot more than that as well. So not really sure, um, but that would be the second potential um, thing to try. Oh, and also you want to use hot water or warm water, at least when you're sprinkling it. Um, unfortunately, you can't really measure how much you're sprinkling, but you know, you're starting amount maybe and then see how much you use and then keep that in mind as you experiment. And the interesting thing though, is that this mochi does give you kind of a different texture. Um, it has more elasticity, I would say, and more of like a snap to it. So if you notice like when you're working with the mochi dough, uh, 
even when you add sugar here, it doesn't stick to the hands as much as say with a stand mixer. So there is definitely something going on with this uh, method of pounding, which is totally different from the stand mixer. Yeah, so it kind of is personal preference. So if you really like a lot more chew, then this actually might be the ideal machine for you and you can kind of work from this recipe, figure it out. But if you're looking for something a lot softer, then I would suggest either the stand mixer or even just completely forgetting about using real rice, even though that's like a legit mochi, but rice flour is definitely the way to get soft, super soft mochi. So there you have it. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys. I know that this has been kind of a weird journey and hopefully you guys are um, getting something out of it. And if you're just like me, just a mochi lover trying to make things work, um, try to find our way into the mochi world without a lot of help. <laughs> uh, that said, if you have any tips or you've made mochi or you know somebody, please let us know in the comments below anything that helps, any ideas, or even recipes that you've tried that you really like and could suggest for us to try. We would super appreciate it. Um, big news, if you guys are in the Bay Area and you haven't heard yet, our local favorite shop, Ben Kyoto, which at the very, very beginning of this series was our, you know, this is our model, ideal dream mochi to be able to make at home. They are closing up shop at the end of this year. It was on the news the other day or something like that. And um, super sad about that because that means there's only going to be one legit mochi shop in the Bay Area when they close one other one, which is all the way in San Jose. So we are going to try to make our way to Ben Kyoto a couple more times before that happens. And even maybe like bring mochi there if they're willing to try it and taste it and see, you know, maybe give us some tips pointers. I don't know. I'm pretty nervous about it, but I kind of also really don't want to miss this opportunity. So I don't know if you guys know somebody <laughs> and you guys can connect us. That would be super cool, really helpful or any other people, um, professionals or people who've just got a lot of experiment, even experience, sorry, even if it's your mom, your grandma, your auntie, or, you know, your uncle or someone who's like, knows somebody at somebody that also once worked at a mochi shop. <laughs> <laughs> help us out please we would super super appreciate it um yeah and as always please subscribe give us a thumbs like if you liked the video or the series and you want more we will see you guys next time bye